Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is going on? It's your boy, Preston, back again with another live Q&A. It's right, hanging out with filmmakers. That's right, the cast and director of the film, Vertical. That's right, and we're going to get into it. We're going to have some fun playing the trailer. Then we're going to talk about the making of this H.P. Lovecraftian-inspired movie. But before we get into that, uh, we have a whole bunch of people in chat right now watching us right now. What's going on, everybody in chat? We got a lot of people excited right now. That's right. Throwing it up. They are excited. They're saying hello to everyone that is here. Uh, let me go down the line here. Here we go. More people showing up excited. They can't wait to watch the vertical trailer. We're going to get to it. We're going to lead up to it. You know, Samurai Guy likes to tease you guys. We're going to lead up to it because I am surrounded once again by legends. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do, since everybody's watching right now, I'm going to go around and circle right here. I'm going to blow you up on screen, and you get to introduce yourself to the live audience. I will start. With queen number one, Miriam, welcome back. Thank you for having me. Hello, everyone. I'm happy to be here again in your show. I'm here to listen from my guys. All right. All right. Next up, we have the main man here, Reza. Welcome. Thank you. Nice inviting me. All right. Okay. And down here, queen number two. Queen number two, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I'm very happy to be here. All right. And here he is down there. Yes, the main man. Welcome, Alberto. How are you? Very good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I, I, saw, the I saw the muscle just pop out, like just <laughs> jump out. Oh, shit. Put those guns away, sir. <laughs> That's awesome, my friend. And... You know him, you love him. He's a regular. He's been on the channel several times. That's right, martial artist, stunt man. He's done it all. Andrew, welcome back, brother. Hello, how are you? Hello from Shanghai. Uh, yeah, thank you for inviting me again. This is the first time, right? Uh, first time was in Spain, Mexico, and now Shanghai. So, yes. it's good. Yes, that's what's awesome about uh, this platform is everyone's here right now from around the world. That's right. Coming yeah. together uh, to talk movies. That's what it's all about. And Miriam, we had a blast. Uh, la I can't believe it's been a year already. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. It's been that fast. Uh, yeah, I, it's, yeah. It's, it's been a year because uh, we had some difficulties traveling around in post-production. Yeah. And, you know, working on foreign language movie for me, it, it was quite a process. Right, right. Yeah, but you know, hey, it's all good. Better, better later than never, right? Yeah. The important thing is that it's coming out. Yeah, and, and the, the most important thing is the outcome now is perfect. I, I'm not talking like this about my movie. It's a feedback from everyone who watched the movie, even those who doesn't know the language and watched it without subtitle. They were in love, and they would just sit and watch it to the end. Couldn't oh. move. Amazing. That is amazing. Yes. Uh, but a year ago is uh, when we had a lot of fun. Look at these other legends that we had here that time. <laughs> had a blast. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm not sporting the red mohawk anymore. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, got the, I got the salt and pepper shake uh, mohawk guy go going right now. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. And if those of you uh, check out who have not seen that episode. Make sure you guys watch it. Uh, we go over Miriam's whole filmography. Uh, and she's very talented, award-winning director. So make sure you guys check out that episode. We go through everything there. But I got to ask, Andrew, you know I have to ask you since you're here, brother. And shout out to Steven, who couldn't mm -hmm. make it today. Shout out to Steven. Uh, are, are these two projects still coming, my friend? Tantum and Scavenger, are they still coming out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tantum, I think we we'll, uh, they prepare to to make a premiere in a movie theater. I think in Mexico. Oh, nice! You know? Yeah, this is previous to Vertical, right? So, but this is another another story. If you like, we take another day. Today is about Vertical. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, good. Because I'm, I'm really, I really want to see uh, mm. these two projects here. So I'm glad. To, okay. it's good to hear. 
it's good to hear. I'm glad that they're going to be coming out soon because we got to watch it for sure. So, uh, Carolina, what? Uh, when did you get the bug? You're like, hey, I get, I got bit by the bug, the filmmaking bug. I got to be an actress. I got to get into filmmaking. When did, what, what inspired you? What motivated you? I don't know. I think it was in my bones since I was born. You know, uh, when I was five, I knew that I, I wanted to, to do it. But then, well, I um, I have a marketing degree. Then I started theater in Mexico. And then in 2011, I decided to start acting for film to my academy. So it was um, when all started you know awesome. nice yeah. all right awesome awesome and now now that you got the bug there's no turning back now this you, okay. that's it tons of projects i'm sure you got coming up but i like to show one of these projects right here what was this one about oh <laughs> how do you have that <laughs> oh well this, this is a project that i love uh i i have the opportunity to uh to be around the world with this um project uh, about a Mexican, uh, a Mexican woman who has a, a powerful decision about her life and she inspires a lot and I, I wish you can see it I will I will send it to you so you can sure see it. yeah I would love yeah. to watch it yeah. All right, so we awesome. have, uh, like 25 selections around the world and for um, prices oh, I, I won uh, for um, awards. For oh, acting. yeah. yeah I see so it right there. I, That's awesome. Congrats. And I was also, yeah, I was also producing on this. So All right. I, yeah. Happy. Awesome. So you're getting the, producing, the producer bug now, too. That's awesome. That is awesome. Congratulations. So Thank same, you. really quickly, same kind of questions for Reza and Alberto. We'll start with Reza. Reza, how did you get into filmmaking and acting? Well, uh, you know, I was always behind the scene, and before I, uh, Mariam is the one who brought me to the front of the camera, but I've been producing in the back, and she's told me, you have the on, why don't you come and play some, in some movies? But she took my hand and she brought me in, so my first role was in the... Last Chance and uh, then the Lion Season, which made a lot of noises. So I had the first role on that one. Nice. Then the Vertical came along. I wasn't supposed to be in Vertical. The Vertical came along, so I read the scripts and everything. And I picked up the hardest part of the priest. Nice, nice, Miriam. You had the you had the eye, Miriam. You you saw something. You're like, I gotta make this guy the priest. <laughs> yeah, because no, I worked with first time actors in twenty years old, and uh, I many people have that, but they or they don't know. Reza, or he knew a little bit, and uh, I was. I met her, him always in festivals and everywhere, so he wasn't that, but he never been in front of the camera, but he had that. Right. About nice. East, uh, when I read the script, at first I was thinking about um, Spanish actors, but I know that this uh, character is and so anybody who uh, play the role, Start the practicing language which doesn't exist. So I was thinking about him because uh, the priest is something. Miriam, Miriam, I don't mean to interrupt you. Can you check your microphone? Someone's mic is, I don't know. Some someone keeps cutting out. Is that you, Andrew, or somebody keeps cutting? Oh, okay. Carolina muted herself. Maybe it was Carolina. All right, go ahead. Continue, Miriam. Yeah, I, I just, I didn't want uh, people being afraid of the priest. Gotcha. Something like they, they, they were sacrificing a human in front of him. And he is the one who raised to do that every 100 years. So 
we already have the debt, but we didn't want to tell that it's something negative or it's something scary, it's something bad. We wanted people understand uh, what's going on and be as much as they can to this ritual stuff. So Reza has a very kind, deep face and deep voice. So mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I came to him about <laughs> this, but uh, the second he loved character. So it was good. Actually, nice. it was a hard process for him to do that, but he did a very great job. Nice, nice. I can't wait to see him in the movie for sure. I can't to see what you're doing there, Mr. Reza. Alberto, <laughs> Alberto, sir. Hey, how did you get yes. into the film? How did you get into the filmmaking business, my friend? And tell us a little bit about your character without spoiling anything. Well, uh, I started as a still photographer. I did photography for many, 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 many years, sports photography especially, or, or and I, I actually worked for ESPN sometime. And I eventually ended up working in a production uh, agency in Universal Studios in Orlando. Oh, wow. And, uh, and yes, and, 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 and when we were there, I was helping doing the commercials, the shorts films. We had a feature film produced there. And I was like, wow, this is something that I can do. I want to do this my whole life. So I uh, came back to Mexico. Uh, I went to the cinematography school and I started acting in in the short films that we had to produce as students there. And, uh, and, and, and it just came out organic. I, suddenly I was uh, making castings for different projects and I was working in short films, TV commercials, uh, some TV series. And well, that's how I end up acting. Nice. I'm, uh -huh. That's awesome. That is awesome. Awesome. But uh, your character in the film. Mm hmm can you can you tell us a little bit about your character without spoiling too much? Of course, of course, of course. Uh, yes, I can. Eric, Eric is a shy, uh, uh, coming out from a rich family, from a rich parents who's provided everything. So he was never, uh, he, he was never done any, anything for himself. So he in this movie he's trying to prove himself to his father, and he went out in this adventure against his, uh, not against his will. He was willing to go, but uh, he wasn't ready to go. It's like, he's afraid of the hates. Uh, ah. He's not good in, in on, on the field, outside of his home or office. He's not a field person. He's not an outside person. And uh, so he relies on, on, on Rita to go to this adventure. So nice. there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of things that happen that, uh, where Eric not supposed to be there, and and, and and well, it was fun. It was fun. It was nice. Fun. Yeah. yeah, copy that. Awesome, awesome. Can't wait to see you in the movie as well. And congrats, Miriam, on the poster upgrade. Holy shit! Look at that. It's gorgeous. Thank you. I'm a very bad uh, perfectionist, <laughs> so we spent a lot of time and energy and money creating different posters. I'm yeah. Very uh, graphic designers, I, I appreciate all of them, but at the I, I and the whole group actually love this one. Yeah, it's really great. I was like, oh my goodness, look at that! That's a hell of a upgrade there. That's amazing. That's how you do it. That's you how know, you do it. Yeah. The poster was designed by a Iranian graphic designer, uh, Sina Rayadus, who was very far from Spanish stories, but as soon as I, I told me I have to, I have to watch whatever you can provide tell me everything about the movie and uh, let me for one week I will design something so he has spent a lot of time and energy on this wow wow well what an excellent job very well done very well done that's how you do it man you gotta get people excited because when you look at that you're like oh I see I see adventure I see action something something is mysterious in that poster that's how you do it man you gotta that's how you bring people in and i i say this all the time a lot of recent movie trailers like big budget triple a movie posters look so generic nowadays they look very vanilla mm -hmm. they're always the same you got the same three heads of the three main actors in there it's like i miss the poster artwork from the 80s man you know something mm -hmm. to captivate 
the yeah. audience and uh, bring them in. And that this, that's what this does right here. So, yeah, phenomenal job. Uh, don't worry. We're going to get to the trailer. We're going to get to it. But I have some behind-the-scenes photos here that we could talk about just for fun, just uh, yeah. before we get to the trailer here. Now, Miriam, I remember... I know Miriam, I don't know if you guys knew this, but she does her own stunts. She's badass like that, okay? She's amazing. So I don't know if you guys knew that. <laughs> but I know you mentioned that, for, you know, last time we spoke, Vertical was a pretty physically challenging uh, movie to make. So I have to ask um, Alberto, and we'll start with uh, Alberto first, and then we'll get to uh, Carolina. Were you guys training, like, all the time? Like, were you guys working out all the time to make sure you're fit, or you're always doing this normally? Go ahead, Alberto. Oh, my, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll do it normally. I'm a sports person. I play soccer since I'm seven years old, six years old. Uh, American football since I'm 12. I'm still play. Uh, I still play football. I still play nice. soccer. Yes. And that's something that I do regularly. Um, gym workout is something that I've been doing since I'm 17. So, yeah, well, I do, I've done every kind of sports, snowboarding, uh, what else, uh, football, soccer i was a skydiver once with a license i want oh. to be a skydiver again yeah wow. i was supposed to be i was supposed to be in training again but i got hurt playing football and, and it was i was inhabilitated for several weeks i'm still it's, my, my knee still hurts but oh. uh yeah, yeah. That's, that, but that's something that i still gonna do in the near uh future so nice. yes yeah, so sports and and, and and physical activities is, 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 it's been in me since since ever since forever Nice. Copy that. So you were good to go when it was time to film this movie. You were already good to go. Carolina, what about you? Do you have to train for your role in the movie or you're always training? Well, I always try to train. And well, uh, since I was studying theater, uh, the physical training um, takes you to the limit, you know, so it's essential for, for actors. So you can perform whatever you need to perform. Your body is your tool, so you have to be there, you know. And for right. this specific um, uh, project, I had to, to learn, you know, climbing. And, well, I, it was it was a challenge, but I really am very grateful for for this. Challenge. Yeah. Nice, nice. Copy that. All right, I got a few uh, images here. I know we can't talk spoilers, but I got to ask some questions here. Boom! There's the captain leading the troops right there. Miriam, what's going on in this scene here? What are you conducting here? Oh, well, I cannot that much, but I was trying to design a scene that something very happened, but we didn't want to uh, show it in a way that uh, the audience gets ready even one second sooner than that thing happened. I just wanted them to just see that with no background of what will happen. So we were designing that. I tried my best not to hurt beautiful people. <laughs> and <laughs> Carolina, <laughs> they, they already went a lot of dangerous things. And all their bodies, all of them, all their bodies were full of uh, injuries. And, you know, oh my goodness. you know, <laughs> we tried. Yeah. I tried my best not to hurt them, but it's themselves. They they did. <laughs> wow. You, you, uh, something I like say about this: the the props is is wood. It's no, you know, it's no soft stuff. So we 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 play with dangerous things, right? Yeah. But yeah. No one hurt. Look at that! Look at that! No one hurt. Professionals. That's right. That's right. Uh, Carolina, tell us, tell us about this scene right here without spoiling anything. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. well, this is, a very, this is a very powerful scene about, well, her nightmare, the nightmare of Rita. My uh, character is, um, is her daughter to get hurt and, or, you know, and she, she I mean, Rita is uh, trying to save the world. You right, know, right, so right. The, she's afraid of uh, many things, but not only for her and the humanity, but for her daughter. You know, so this is this scene is about a nightmare about her daughter. So it's a very emotional and strong scene. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. 
How, how and how was it working uh, with this guy here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's very careful. He, I mean, he has a very good technique. You know, he, uh, I, I, he was guiding me to these kind of scenes. You know, and I'm very yeah. grateful to work with him and Mariam, who were uh, guiding yeah. me very kindly. And thank you, thank you, Andrew. <laughs> no, you know, I remember uh, I saw one picture last time from the making of, and I remember one kick. Uh -huh. She didn't make a kick in a face, and that kick was in the face. No, oh, wow. no camera angles, you know. Uh, wow. Many, many scenes, many scenes, all scenes, all five scenes, no camera angles. This is something we work, and all, all the kicks, all the punch, everything is connect in the face, in the body, you know. This is something we did. That's right, that's right, that's yeah. right. Because the movie needs that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Need a little bit of spice here. I love this shot right here. Oh shit! Look at all of the legends together. Look at that. Look at that shot right there. Yeah, yeah. Steven, Steven, you're fired. You should have been here today. <laughs> Just messing with him. <laughs> uh, love you, Steven. We love you, brother. But now it is time. It is time, baby. Let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna show the newest trailer for. Vertigo. Let's do it. En una época de dioses y monstruos, una pequeña aldea de un pueblo hoy casi olvidado Tenía en sus manos el destino de toda la humanidad. Ahora es tu turno. Tienes que hacerlo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. Ho. What? That scratched. The action adventure horror itch, baby. Yeah, that's how you do a trailer. That's how you do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Congratulations everyone on completing the film. Congratulations to you and Marion for getting the movie out. You know, it's going to finally come out so everybody can watch it and have a great time. So let's have a little bit more extra fun now. And I'm going to bring up the trailer again and we can watch it reaction video style and then uh miriam and everybody else please hop in at any moment to uh talk about any scenes or any behind the scenes stories that you have let me go ahead and try to put uh everybody down here so we can blow up the trailer a little bit more there we go all right all right so uh how long did it take to film uh the movie mary because was a super limited budget, referring the huge production that we supposed to do that. I was so limited. If I say how many days we were, you cannot believe we did it with the help of each other, just like a great family. Uh, gotcha. Nice. Uh, it took 17 days. It's unbelievable. What? Yes. Wow, that is amazing. 17 days. That's impressive. Yeah. And, uh, we were under pressure time, and actors, all of them, did a great job um, doing their own stuff. Do not complain in all of the situations. You know, they were so with each other. Uh, regarding to the action scenes, we were tricky. In one land, me, Andrew, and Steven, 
we were <laughs> action coordinators. So we were covering each other for everything. And, uh, you know, working yeah. with super talented people was a gift. Nice, nice. Look at this shot. That's a great shot. There he, is that the man? Is yeah. that the legend right there? That is the man. <laughs> uh, how was it playing uh, this priest character, Reza? This character was extremely hard because there were a lot of emotion involved. There is not much uh, talking into it, but there, there were also a, a lot of acts. And the way I usually play, I I have to leave the character. So I had, I went through several months of getting myself into it. So I can bring, I study about the Yoyaki, I study about how the priest behaves and how the sacrifices goes on. So to get myself into it. And nice. to be honest with you, the location, I like to practice in the location. And the location was so spooky because it was the real altar which they used to do sacrifice. And wow, wow. If, if I tell you I lost my breath twice in that location, it's the honest truth. I almost passed out by getting myself into a character and in that atmosphere. Wow. It was tough. It was very difficult. Wow, that's dedication. That's dedication right there, man. Copy that. But you made it. You're still with us, thankfully. <laughs> I'm still with you guys. Yeah, you see, thanks to uh, thanks to the makeup, and I tell you about the makeup. Makeup, makeup was taking several hours to get into it, and I I want to take the opportunity to thank them because they really supported me. Then and they hold my hands and they walk me through this. They were wonderful, mm -hmm. and these casts which you have, they were wonderful. They all. With the, as Mariam said, with the limited budget, they, they really worked together and they brought this magnificent feature to the theaters. So I would say thank you guys. And for, for me, uh, usually I stay behind the scenes and everything. I've seen a lot of actors, actresses. And these guys, they played it natural. They did their own stunts. Uh, yeah. They, they really played their role very well. And I'm I'm very Amazing. grateful. Amazing. And comes to me, it was the priest. I had to study a lot about the hundred years of the priesthood. And when he comes back to life every hundred years, uh, and the death rises, and the way the sacrifice has to be done, it wasn't easy. But it was a wonderful experience. And speaking the Yayaki language, that's that was even better because we had limited the Spanish. So right, right, right. This, nice. This nice. this role really worked out for me. All right, all right. I, I'm glad to be among such wonderful people. Copy that. Copy that. I'm sure they're happy you were around. I'm sure they learned from you too, Reza. You know. I'm uh, looking forward uh, to be honest with you. I love these guys so much that we are looking uh, forward to make another movie with them. Hey, there you go. That's right. That's right. Copy that. Miriam, was it really difficult to, to film at night and get the right, the correct, perfect lighting? Was it difficult? Well, we didn't have enough, equipment, but uh, we were so creative regarding to lighting. And I had um, this crop too. Yeah, it was hard. Uh, we took advantage of real fire stuff. And it was tough, they will off immediately. So the set designer and the crew, Bardo Tostado and uh, his crew, all the time were making uh, these fires ready for us. Tons of them, you know. Uh, but again, the good thing about this scene, if you see the faces of these like zombies, like yeah. each of them were raised from one Maybe one of them is from 100 years, years ago. The other one is two years ago. That's why the outfits are different. The way oh. acting, you know, you cannot tell them all of them were great actors. So we didn't have to retake and retake because they knew exactly what, they, what we wanted. 
Uh, nice, nice. The DP as well, he was so cooperative in, in that situation, but, you know, we were limited regarding to the... Copy that. And just have, you know, actually the having limited lighting, you know, worked in your favor, I think, because it makes things that they made more atmospheric, right? A lot more mm -hmm. creepy, the scenes at night. So mm -hmm. we got some blood. Oh, shit. What is that? What is that? Watch out now. I think we have, do we have a creature of some sorts? I know you can't spoil it. So I'm going to have to watch the movie now <laughs> to find out what this is. Look at that. Yeah, all right, all right. Getting that horror, because we love our horror here on this channel. So, yeah, yeah. Horror elements. There we go. Look at that shot. There she is. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Did you almost get hit there, <laughs> Carolina? Right here. Boom. Can't you hear me? Let me check her audio. Carolina, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, okay. Yeah, for some reason I couldn't hear you there. Oh. Uh, this this shot right here, was this a close call? Did the rock almost hit you? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, my signal is bad, so I can't Oh, that's see. all right. That's okay. No, there was a scene you know, where you're on the cliff here and a, a small little boulder comes down on the side there. <laughs> I just wanted you to talk about that scene. But that's okay. We'll keep it moving. We'll keep it moving. Now, where is this location, uh, Marion? Right here. It's uh, the church of Leon. Uh, like main scale. Uh, it's a copy of another church in Europe. So we wanted to break this church down. Uh, that's why we asked the visual effect crew, Habib Zagapur and Satari came on set and uh, they helped whatever they wanted exactly. We didn't have time to them. So they came on the day of us on the day of shooting and they got it ready to break it down. So all these actors uh, that you can see in the frame, they just try to imagine it will be an earthquake, the church will be break down, the ground will be open up and cracking. And look at their amazing reaction. Oh, very good. Nice. That's a great shot right there. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Everybody doing their own stunts, man. That is amazing. Yeah. In that in that kick, I I kick the actor real, you know, because all all the all the all the hits in these movies, we we make contact, you know. Right. This is something we work. Some people say it's dangerous, but if you know how to work, nothing happens. You know? Copy that. Let's show, let's show that kick. Let's get to the kick here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There. It's like a fight in a little bar we got going here. How long did this little fight scene take to put together, Andrew? Uh, we did in a few takes, right? Maria, I remember was we planned to do no many takes. Just one, two, three takes, I think, three That's three different shots yeah. to do the fight. It was a sure fight in the beginning. You know, because it was a very crowded scene. And we had so many uh, extras as well that they were in front of the camera for the first time. They couldn't keep their continuity. Uh, Andrew did a great job designing the fight, and we just covered it three times. And in the process of editing, Andrew was with me when we were editing. It was great editing the action scenes because the way we shoot the old action scenes, it was just easy for everyone. No, Andrew is so picky about fight scenes, and he wants to retouch, and retouch it to get the best out of them. Nice. You guys You guys hear that? Did you hear that? She's picky about fight scenes. You see that? She wants to, she's a perfectionist. She wants it to be right. And I wish more action and martial arts filmmakers today would have that kind of thinking when they're putting together the fight scenes instead of just rushing it 
or editing it bad to where you can't see it, yeah. or using all this shaky cam to where you can't see it. See? Yeah, you you know something I feel sometimes people do fights, but they don't have pa uh, the patience to do the editing. When you do a fight, it's one one stage. When you edit, it's another stage, and you recreate the fight. It's possible you recreate with the footage you have. Yeah. So the people don't like to do this kind of process. They like just rush, you know. And, and I love to do that. I love to spend hours and hours. I think this is 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 a magical moment to create something new, you know. Yes. Yes. So yeah, props to you and everyone else trying to make the fights look good where you can actually see them. You don't know how important it is for me to hear stuff like that from you, Miriam. <laughs> it's important because that's one of my pet peeves here on the channel is like I come across all these action and martial arts movies and they don't know how to film a fight scene or edit the fight scene. And it's just, so, it just, it's such a waste of your stuntman and your martial artists, you know? Yeah. So I'm so happy to hear Miriam be like, no, I want to make sure the fights are right. And they look right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And it's difficult to find directors, right? With the mentality. Uh, I think with Marian, we did a great job, you know? Yeah. But some directors don't, they, you know, they, they are, because they don't, they don't understand, they, they pass by, you know? It's not. Right, right. You know? Who Who is this uh, on the, the line right here? Who's that? I don't know. I, I'm not. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying to unmute Carolina. Try try it now, Carolina. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. Was that was that you? Yeah, on the on the last one. What? I think so. No. Yeah. That's I amazing. So. How amazing. No fear, no fear of heights. Yeah. No fear of heights. That's yeah. awesome. Wow. Is that me? Okay. Well, I didn't. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, more. We more. we all was in the heights, you know. In this movie, we all was there. Man, yeah, I'm not a big fan of heights either. So I would have been really useless if I was a part of this movie. <laughs> yeah. I would have been like, Miriam, I'll hold the boom mic. Uh, that's it. But yeah, I, I'd be too scared to get up there. <laughs> Look at this shot. Now, this this one I'm talking the more horror elements here. This is great. More fighting. There you go. More action. There you go. That was a real knockout. <laughs> Which one? The, the one that you passed. That guy was a boxer, real boxer. He has the 90 fights and he won all of them. And he was oh. a professional. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, look. Yes, the, it's a real, no, no, not this fight, the another fight, uh, Preston. The another punch. Oh, Going okay. forward. Going forward. Okay, we're getting to it, we're getting to it. Yeah. Somebody got knocked out for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, what happened is this. Uh, this is a professional boxer. Oh, when, okay. uh, no, no, this part, no, this part, the other part. This, Let's go right. this, this punch, this punch right here was, yeah. was real. Yeah, this punch. Professional boxer. I say perfect. I need a professional guy. What happened? The professional guy, he trying to contact. Always. So when he did the punch, he go in the instinct. So right. he touched the guy okay. and, and punched him. And, but yeah, professional boxer. You know, so good. And the guy oh, was yeah. gone. Yes. Wow. Wow. But nothing happened. Oh, Point control, you know. There's blood coming out too. Wow. The, the the actor don't complain, you know, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. He don't demand, he don't do anything, you know. There but we go. Good. More yeah. more of the more of the Daz brother action right here. That's right. Yeah, and for example, he had a very good fight with me and and Eric, uh, Alberto, and then with Alberto I use the football skills and the soccer skill and football American football skills. You know, perfect. I remember that you were asking me to kick you in the head for real. I'm not gonna kick you in the yeah. head. I know how hard yeah. I can kick. <laughs> we had that argument for a few minutes. Kick me! No, I'm not gonna kick you. <laughs> yes. How long did it take to put this fight together, Alberto? 
Uh, I don't know. It was the whole morning. We we spent the morning doing that uh, fight. Yeah. Nice. If, if I recall, yeah. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I mean, we were rehearsing since before, but it took like one morning to do the whole uh, fight in the scene. It's, it's not it's not that long though. It was a short fight. Right, a couple combinations, but it I mean, looks it's, good. It's, it looks good. That's what's important is that it looks good. And look at the camera angle is perfect where Miriam has a place to show the action. It's so perfect. That's that's what I'm talking about. Now this right here. Like props to uh, Carolina here. Look at this. Look at look at you go. <laughs> look at that. Oh my goodness. Cliffhanger, watch out. Cliffhanger's got competition here. Look at this. Look at look at this. Man. Oh my goodness. Intense. 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 So you just went all in, Carolina. You just went all in. You're like, fuck it. Let's do this. <laughs> that was that was that zip lining. Yeah. That zip lining was very fun. I didn't want to stop. I wanted to keep going one and again and again. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> yes. Through awesome. through we did a lot. A lot of zip line. Awesome. But also we have for the for the climbing we have a um, uh, some some people who advise us, you know, so we always Rodolfo, say Rodolfo and Claudia. Yeah. We have Rodolfo yeah. and Claudia. Yes. They were professional they are professional climbers and they were uh, helping us nice. uh, with a lot of the stuff. Yeah. Nice. With a well, lot I... of the stuff with the, uh, safety, he was in charge of uh, safety. Mm, and he was very perfect. professional and everything. He was uh, giving us all kind of uh, Telling us all kind of tricks and and how to do uh, the climbing things, so they they were very supportive. They're all from Claudia. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. I'm definitely excited to see the whole movie. Congratulations to everyone involved. And uh, chat over here. This is uh, Brandon. This is what, after we played the trailer. He said, "So badass." There we go. <laughs> he enjoyed it for sure. Uh, ten out of ten. 10 out of 10 there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But I could talk to all of these legends all day about movies, but they are busy filmmakers. They are busy beavers, so they have things to do. So we are going to uh, wrap it up uh, today a little bit. But hope, before we wrap it up, I'm going to go around really quickly. Andrew, you first. Anything you'd like to say uh, to your followers? Uh, no, thank you, thank you for this uh, space or this time with you. And stay tuned, right? We, the movie will come out, and other movies we will do. You know, action, comedy, uh, different kind of different kind of movies, right? Awesome, awesome. Alberto, anything to say to your followers? Yes, well, this is a project that we did with a lot of effort, a lot of sacrificing, and a lot of love. It, it took a lot from us. And then follow us. Give us a like. Uh, follow us on the on social media. And uh, give us a like. Give us some love. Express some love to us. And, and, and thank you very much. Yeah. Awesome. The priest himself. Anything you'd like to say before we wrap it up, Reza? Well, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank everybody. Thank the director. Thank you. And all the cast for such a wonderful creation. And uh, hopefully it's going to come out and it's going to make a bang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And one of the queens. That's right. <laughs> Carolina, Thank anything you like to say? Three followers. Yeah, I'm very grateful for having um, worked with the, all these amazing people. I learned a lot. And thank you for having us here. Thank you. And... and I hope everybody can see this movie. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. And the captain of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, who uh, helped me on the journey. I love uh, to everyone, I mean, as old who is to watch the movie, uh, uh, think about this story because it's somehow the whole world. Uh, it's a 
protecting the whole world from not ending. This is end of the world if something is happening by many different aspects, as you see. And we need to see more stories, more powerful stories from women. And as you see in the story, if a protagonist, a, a hero just like Carolina, just like Rita, starts doing something in the world, men, it's not a story, it's in the real life as well. Men will support it as well to get to the point. So I, I'm sure that you will enjoy the movie and I would love to hear back afterwards. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Excellent. It was an honor to have all of you here. That's right. Hey, y'all know what you need to do. Check the links. All of them. There's a lot of them in the description box below. Follow all of these legends on Instagram. Follow them on their filmmaking journey. And if you're new here, hey, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the old samurai guy. And I will see you guys. Don't you guys go anywhere. But I'll see you guys on the next one. That's right. Vertical, baby. Let's do it. Action, martial arts, adventure, horror, suspense, stunts. It's got it all. Let's go, baby. Take care, guys.